Hi guys, and welcome to this review of If Loving You Is Wrong. No, I'm not at home. Most of you know I'm staying at the hospital with my dad, and so I'm using the conference room down the hall. So y'all see this gorgeous view behind me. Yes, it's reflected off the glass or whatever, so I'm going to get this in right quick. This is my review for um, episode 16, um, Rock Solid, and episode 17, In God's Hands, all together. So let's jump right on into it. So we start off with um, episode 16, Rock Solid. Randall knew Eddie probably took Larry and told Ian to call someone because Eddie is the one that took him. He know Eddie is crazy and he know um, Eddie capable and he know Ian just didn't come up. I mean, Larry just didn't come up mysteriously missing, not Especially knowing that they had already pissed Eddie off. Like he said, y'all don't piss Eddie off. You got to watch your back after that. They should have never messed with Eddie. Y'all see my other reviews. So Alex is determined to get to the hospital where Brad is. Her and Randall are determined to try to make Marcy have a miscarriage. She knows she's not even about to be welcome down here at this hospital by Marcy. Girl, stay at home. It is what it is. You done cheated. You done made your bed. Lie in it. Leave this woman alone. And chill out. Eddie done mess around and kill Larry. We already knew he would. Larry tried to tell Eddie that he didn't know what he was doing. It's a, it's a certain type of technique. You have to do it. Putting that bag over people's head. Making them fall out. Uh, pass out or you was going to kill him. Well, Eddie done pushed you to the limit. Now, Larry, dad, child, he did. <laughs> but Lucian done called... Um, Eddie on the phone after Ian called and put a bug in his ear that um, Eddie may have him. And he's up here with that little FBI tracker stuff to track Eddie out in the middle of nowhere. What, who knows what deep wooded forest out there in the swamp um, Eddie done took Larry out to and asked him why he out in the box truck in the middle of nowhere. He know that he got um, Larry. That's why he done told him that he better get Larry back to civilization and put a time limit on there. So let's see how Eddie play this off because I believe Eddie finally about to make his downfall. So anyway, Randall messing around. Um, get that little notification to his phone and realize them cameras are still recording. So he go back and look at the footage and he done finally realized that Randall and Kelly talking. Kelly's sitting up here about to make this doctor lose her job for lying. That's all. I meant not Kelly, Alex. I don't know why I always call Alex Kelly. I guess because they both dumb. But anyway, she about to make this doctor lose her doggone license and try to make both of them go to doggone prison. But anyway, she going um he gonna have to go over there and confront her or whatnot with his little MacBook. And here she go chasing him back there to the to the um shed. She don't care if Brad pull up at this point or not. Cause all she wants is her baby and this food sitting up here talking about she willing to have sex with him, do whatever she can to keep this little boy. And, <laughs> and um I thought she was gonna go go through with it, but it's she just determined she don't want she don't really want Randall. She done with Randall. She ain't in love with him and ain't feeling him or nothing. But I am glad that when she came out of that shed, it was Natalie out there and not Brad, and that she um, told Natalie what's going on. At least she telling the truth to somebody. I guess she better tell Natalie the truth because she know Natalie gonna beat the hell out of her if she don't. But anyway. Moving on, I'm wondering at some point will she break down and sleep with Randall? I hope she don't, but I feel like that she is going to eventually end up sleeping with him, doing whatever she can to keep this baby. Anyway, Kelly State Attorney, like I told y'all in the other review, was going to make her take a plea deal. And then, like Randall set her up, he got the footage from her running her mouth over there with him. And she just steady digging herself a hole or whatnot. But I'm glad she stuck to her um, defenses and was like, no, I didn't do it. I'm not taking the plea deal. And I'm glad she really did that. But um, I hope for some reason that I take, Ian going to take the case. And this other dude that he said he going to hook him up with, I got a feeling he going to fall through too. But I believe when they find out that Larry dead, that's going to change the course of things. And then that way he going to be able to go on and start helping um, Kelly. So that's all of my review for that episode. So let's get into episode 17 in God's hands. 
hashtag can't we all get along so we're going to start off with Randall and Alex again and like I said she just don't want him It she ain't attracted to him no more he done did so much devilment and so much evil stuff that she just ain't feeling him she, do, she just don't want Randall he need to accept that and stop trying to um blackmail her into being with him. I mean, he just really didn't go. And then he he only gonna fool with her if he can rub it in Brad and Marcy face. Um let's see I, I talked about the part with Natalie seeing her and um Lucian and Lucian and Natalie, I mean, yeah, talked. And Justice, um, they want Kelly to talk to Justice. She really do need to talk to her son. Not talking to him is 50% of the reason she in the predicament that she in now. Um, hiding stuff and, and stuff from this boy. And this whole time, she would have had a closer relationship with her son. She would have known that her son was talking to Travis. And Travis was setting up from the beginning. But no... She wanted to keep everything on the download. So what did he do? He had more faith in Travis than he did in, in, in his own mama. So she messed that up her own self. That was on her. She should have done better. So um, it, Justice goes to see her. She finally talked to the boy and all this kind of stuff. And I want her to tell him to do good in school. At least make her proud. So he'll do good in school and won't be acting out in school or whatnot. Because he upset that she gone. So she need to say, at least do good for me. And, you know, don't get in trouble at school. Keep your grades up and make me proud. So he'll keep doing good in school and tell him to do good with Natalie and all of that kind of stuff. And to keep him encouraged and tell him, him that'll make her happy. So he'll keep being good and he won't be acting up or what have you. So anyway, um, Randall going to go over to Natalie's house. Trying to act like he all cool and stuff and whatnot. Trying to talk to Natalie like they friends and whatnot. Talking about, so you knew that uh, it's a shame what she did to me, right? Trying to bait <laughs> Natalie. When Natalie got that knife and stuck it in that, <laughs> that thing, she was like, Randall, don't play with me. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's how all the women need to be. They need to be like, Natalie, don't be trying to fall for the okie doke. Natalie, he know Natalie from the hood. She wasn't about to fall for that. Don't think you finna bait her and try to record her saying nothing. And I don't trust him being over there. He may put a bug in their house or something to hear what everything is going on. And I think he did because he always got some kind of listening and tracking device. You see, he had cameras and stuff listening. You see, he had tracking devices on Brad Carr. I think he put a bug in there, so he's going to try to get Lucian and Natalie. He's going to try to have everybody incriminated because he's trying to have everybody in that neighborhood go to jail and arrested anyway. So, anyway, for him to go over there and try to talk to uh, Natalie like they was friends, he is dumb as Kelly <laughs> was. But I still think he just went over there to plant some kind of bug, so we're going to see in the next episode. But, um... She told him if he stayed over there, they was going to have to carry him out there in little bitty pieces. Boy, when she said that, I screamed and hollered. I'm like, girl, you better tell him. But I don't trust him. But we'll see in the next episode. But anyway, Lucian already done put a file together on Ed and done threw it up in his face with him and his location and all of that kind of stuff and demanded that he go on and bring Larry back. He got an hour to do it because he don't put the pieces together. So I'm I'm just ready to see how Eddie going to get out of this. So Lucian over here, Esperanza talking about Steven to Eddie. And es Esperanza says she ain't talked to Steven. And it's just so funny to her that Steven ain't text her. And she done put two and two together. And like, uh, Eddie, if you did something to Steven, because Eddie done did something to everybody that she ever dated. So she pretty sure that he done did something to Steven. I'm pretty sure she had too, because he had that black man following Steven on that motorcycle. So Steven probably wherever Andrew is, y'all gotta watch Eddie. And I'm still hoping Andrew come up alive, but I guess I can get that hope up already. So anyway, um, Ian showed up at the hospital to see. Oh, 
talking about Esperanza and Steven. Lucian overheard the whole conversation. So I'm I'm guessing he, he gonna figure out that Eddie got Steven too and gonna demand him be back too. That Steven it worked with them. I thought Steven was they boss. Like he was just a step higher up than they was. So anyway, so Ian showed up at the um Hospital to see Marcy. How Brad trying to be standoffish with Ian? I think he gonna be jealous. He tried to be standoffish when he came in the room. Gonna try to check him when he come out of the room. Talking about he wrong and all of this. How you gonna show up talking about busy and the time of need? You didn't even know what he wanted. You the one wrong. He get on my nerves. He be trying to do the most. But anyway, he done trump one up on Brad because he done delivered them divorce papers to Marcy. And made her happy. That's going to stop her from miscarrying her baby. Getting all that good news. So anyway, while they all talking and celebrating. Dumb tell Randall going to show up. And now he going to tell the doctor. You the bitch that changed the DNA. What not. And then the doctor basically like. Um, Alex, tell me what he talking about. Because in Brad, like, you know, you you wouldn't have to never worry. We would never tell. She like, Alex, what is they talking about? And Alex like, I never said that, that you did it or some kind of stuff. Alex, why you be lying? You told this man that she changed the DNA. Girl, you... You need your ass with Alex. This is what you need. Because this is about to go all wrong. So, anyway... um. I think what's gonna happen, all this is gonna um all this is gonna end up bringing um about another DNA and then at this DNA doing this DNA test is when they gonna find out that Brad the daddy. I think this baby black because you know Alex daddy don't like black people. And I think he don't like black people because his mama was having an Alex mama was having an affair and that that Alex may be a mixed breed baby. And that's why the baby came out black. Or either Brad got some black in his family and they don't know about. It. That's why this baby black. Tell me what y'all think and give me um y'all opinions on um you know why y'all think the baby came out the color that it came out but I do think the baby gonna be brass I also think Marcy baby gonna be brass but tell me what y'all think cause I'm really interested in knowing and um something else y'all remember Pete that was at the hospital with um Natalie's son Joy what happened to Pete? Where did Pete go hide out at? Because Eddie didn't get his hands on Pete, too. I believe Eddie got his own prison somewhere where he got Andrew. Um, he done found Pete, and he got Pete. He got Steven. Well, he don't have Larry there. He done killed Larry. But what y'all think? Where everybody at? Is they dead? Is they hiding now? Y'all leave y'all answers in the comments below. Tell me what y'all think, because I want to know. And tell me who y'all think the baby daddy is. Who is not the father. And I will see y'all in the next review. Thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.